These represent water molecules, H2O. Because of the bend, these molecules, which should have no charge, have a slightly positive end here and a slightly negative end there. When I put um, sodium, the element, the metal in the water, we have a very interesting reaction. The sodium breaks up the water molecule and then we have a solution of sodium hydroxide. The hydrogens that are freed, hydrogen is diatomic, likes to hang with the buddy. The hydrogen gas is liberated. Now, hydrogen gas is very flammable. So when I put the sodium in the water, the hydrogen gas that is released at the surface of the water as it escapes, I should be able to light that on fire. Sodium is stored in oil because in water it behaves very differently. I put some phenolphthalein into the water and it has not turned pink. If the water were a base in terms of pH, it would turn pink with the phenolphthalein. Once I put the sodium in, the sodium hydroxide will be a solution and it should turn pink. We should also be able to light that hydrogen gas on fire. So I've got a little splint. You can hear it and the gas that's being produced is indeed flammable. But it's a little hard to tell. I heard one little poof there There we go. And it turned pink. So now we have a base, sodium hydroxide. On the periodic table, there's sodium. And even more reactive would be potassium. So let's see what happens when we put potassium in the water. We should get potassium hydroxide, which is a base. The phenolphthalein should turn pink, but since it's further down in the, in the column or the group, we should see a stronger reaction. So here's our potassium. Now we see that it looks, well, it's solid. It looks silver gray, but some parts look also black. It is also stored in oil. Don't need much. A tiny little bit. <laughs> You're saying that's not a tiny little bit. No, but I will cut some of that. Again, it's very soft. Even that's probably too much. You're saying, no, I'll put a big piece. I will cut this one in just a tiny little piece. That's all we need. In fact, there. I'll put the phenolphthalein, which is an indicator of a base, in the water to start with. You'll see that the color is clear, so it is not a base. When I put the potassium in the water, the potassium will pull apart the water molecule. Hydrogen gas will be released and it might even get so hot that it lights itself on fire without me needing the stick. So let's see what happens. Ooh, it doesn't even need my flame in order to light that gas on fire. It got so hot it lit the hydrogen gas on fire all by itself. 